This is Gadget Man, Ron. Uh, today is February the 24th, 2011, and what we're doing today is a 2007 Chevy Cobalt. There you have it. Now, now let's look at what we can do with the Gadget Man group on the emission. There it is. Oh, so you can see that. All right. Now, before it started out with the zeros, but as you can see, the oxygen content has gone up substantially, and CO2 is hovering about the same and the air fuel ratio has gone up substantially as well from 24.5 to 25.5 and hovering around there. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to introduce you to the lovely lady that owns this vehicle and uh, let her tell you about her car and what she thinks about the Gadget Man Group. Up right there. Alright. <laughs> so can I ask your name? Sammy. Sammy. Would you tell us about your car please, Sammy? Um. I like it. It's a good car. <laughs> yeah. How long have you had it? Uh, since November 2008. Okay. And it's been pretty good for you? Excellent. All right. Now, you just came over this morning about, oh, about an hour ago, and uh, we did the Gadget Man Group on your car, and you took it out for a test spin. What would you say? It runs really good. <laughs> it's real smooth. It's fast. Uh -huh. Um better than I thought it could be. <laughs> <laughs> well, you had it for a while, it's okay. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, I'm afraid to put on the gas pedal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, so, you know, the, and also, well, your emissions started out at pretty, very, very low anyway, but uh, based on the emissions, based on your driving, what would you, would you say this is a good thing for your car? Yes. Very much so. All right. What would you say to other Chevy Cobalt owners out there? Um, get in the groove. Get That's in the groove. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> this thing is amazing. Yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to increasing my fuel mileage okay. uh, with today's prices. You can't beat it. All right. Wonderful. And so I'm excited about it, and you're crazy not to do it. <laughs>